<laughs> what is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter and I have a super exciting video for you guys. We are talking about how to glaze pots upside down. You heard me right, we're glazing pots upside down. So this is a pot that has been glazed upside down. So it got bisque fired first and then I glazed it and then it came out and I wasn't very happy with it for whatever reason. So then I glazed it again and if you can see right there, the bottom is actually has glaze on top of it. So most of the time, you know, most pots, the bottom is unglazed because if you glaze the bottom of the pot, it's gonna stick to the shelf. You have to have a part of the pot that doesn't have any glaze on it so it doesn't stick to the shelf. But by glazing it upside down, whooshed, then you are able to have some glaze on the bottom. This is a technique that I've been playing around with for a couple years and I always think it comes out really cool and the stuff sells, but you're a little bit limited by some of the tools that you have. So that's the, the today's video. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right away. And then we're gonna wait till it's completely done and then I'll show you guys the unloading and the finished product. First, I just wanted to tell you guys that we do have a bunch of pots, including the pots that we are bringing out of the kiln in this video. Uh, are gonna be up for sale on June 10th. So etsy.com slash shop slash John the Potter will have at least 100 plus pots going up for sale. And I think that's gonna be today. So the video that, this video is gonna go live on June 10th and we will have those pots going up. So all those pots back there uh, are what's going up on the Etsy restock. So check it out if you wanna get a pot. We're gonna glaze this. I'm gonna go through the process of how we're gonna glaze this upside down. Uh, but the basics of what you have to do is have a couple kiln posts, and then you have to have some of these little tools that you use, I don't even know what they're really called. Stilts, they're called kiln stilts. So if you Google kiln stilts, then there's lots of different types of things. So you need some kiln stilts, right? And so basically what you're doing is you have a kiln post with a stilt on top of it, and then you are taking your pot and you're balancing it on top like that. Then after it gets fired, this should come right off with this stuck into the bottom and then you can either take your finger inside and pull that thing off or take a, if it's really uh, glazed in there, you can pop it off with a screwdriver or something. So this is an example of a pot that I that came out of the last glaze firing and I wasn't really happy with it because it had some big pinholes. So I applied a little bit more glaze on the, around the bottom and then I will have it set on a kiln stilt like that in the kiln right now. So if you look in here, this whole kiln is full. The bottom couple shelves are all mugs, but these are all balanced on top of those kiln stilts. So those all have glaze applied to the bottom. Uh, including that one as well, which I already fired that one once upside down. So those I will unload in a couple days and I'll get that on video for sure. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glaze this guy upside down in the Northern Lights. So it's gonna be all in the black and then we're gonna do just the bottom metallic green and then buttercream as well. Let's do it. So I'm gonna use these tongs and I'm gonna dip it like this since I want the whole thing to get glazed. Okay. So I dipped right to there if you can see so this is the black, this will be the metallic green right there, and it'll get fired like this. This could be pretty sweet. Boom, okay, so this feels pretty dry now. It's been, you know, five, 10 minutes. Uh, so now we're just gonna get this last glaze, which is the buttercream. Okay. Okay, so I know I have a little space left up here and I normally would fill that, but just for today's kiln, I don't wanna mess anything up, so I'm just gonna close this. Okay. 
And then we're gonna go set this to cone seven, medium speed. We're gonna press start. And that's it guys. So we will be back probably in two days to unload this kiln and to show you guys how this looks when you fire pots upside down. All right, so we'll see you then. All right guys, so it's two days later. So this kiln has been up to 2262, 2262 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and it's all the way come back down to 75 degrees. So we're gonna open it right now and show you guys what is inside. You ready? All right. All right, so these are all the upside down ones right here, right? This is the one that we showed you how to do. And uh, all right, let's take it all out and uh, show you guys the sweet stuff. So this was a, we fired this one, this glaze for a second time. Right? That is really, really, really cool. I wish I had a picture of what it looked like before. But then, if you can see all the way in there, there's the little tiny stilt. So here's another one. Here's another one of that same, same glaze. That is really quite stunning. This one come, came out really easily. So that just came out. Might be a few little holes in there, but I took my little uh, Dremel tool and just Dremeled it, but that one feels good. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Right, here's another one that was upside down. Minnesota mug. Okay, so then the one. So here is the mug that I showed you how to glaze. So remember we glazed it black and then metallic green and then buttercream. And that turned out pretty sweet. Look at that. So it's an upside down drippy mug. One glaze on the inside. How about that? That's super cool. And then the bottom is like pretty sweet too. Pretty sweet. Very cool. All right, what else? We got another one of these. So this one dripped too much onto the kiln shelf. So that one either I'll try and fire it again or I will say that's too many. This one, I'm not sure what happened on this one here, but it looked like we got some real drips down on the post, which is kind of interesting. But this one has like, if you can see the drips up there, which personally doesn't bother me. I mean, if you were like trying to drink it out of it, you'd have to kind of choose where you put your lip. So you're not drinking out of a um, a drip, but if you drink right there, it's perfect. All right, so those are all the upside down fires. So I'll just quickly go through the rest of this stuff here. Got a couple Northern Lights pour overs. Those are cool, two of them. It's got some straight up Northern Lights, Minnesota mugs. We're finally getting reopened at Mocha Monkey, so I'm stocking up on some pottery for that. This is a, uh, custom mug for a patron of mine. So if you're a, on Patreon, if you're the highest level, you get a custom mug. So it's it's got a wood grain handle and two wood grain things on there for, he kind of holds his mugs like this. And so the wood grain pads are for your hands. But yeah, that turned out pretty sweet. I'm excited. Woo! All right, there's a Northern Lights mug that dripped all the way to the bottom. This one drips all the way to the bottom and off. Nice. Not sure why it's dripping over top of the Minnesota. The glaze I haven't done in forever. Canyon skies. If you guys have been following this channel for a while, you remember I used to do this glaze all the time. And a lot of people kind of ask for it still. So I thought, you know what? I'll do a few Canyon skies mugs. So Canyon skies. And those turned out really good. Canyon skies, these are all, there's four of them. I've been having some issues with my one big kiln, so I figured I gotta start putting witness cones in. So this is the cone seven witness cone, or this is the cone seven, this is cone six. So this one melted pretty dang good, like too much. And so we know that it was more than cone six, and the seven went pretty perfect, so. Good job, Mr. Kiln, you did your job. And then in this, in the bottom of this kiln, we have a bunch of Northern Lights mugs. 
Oh, those are... See the winner there? That was the winner of the March Madness right here. All right, so there's a bunch of Northern Lights mugs, and then there's a bunch of these red, red gloss mugs. Those turned out sweet. That's Winterwood red gloss on the top. Those turned out really nice. I haven't done the red in a while, but I like those. We also have these Lavender Mist. Ooh, those are so cool. Those are awesome. Wow, this is cool. So this is a new glaze that I just started trying. It's um, matte black with Aurora Green on top. It's very, very interesting. It's very dark, very black with a little subtle hints of blue and it's kind of glittery. It's, it's really interesting, I like it. I like it a lot. The last one in here is this satin, satin patina, which I think is, it's a matte kind of turquoise, very, Lots of interesting things going on in there. You can't see the real the detail. So, that's about it for this kiln. I'll show you. So the rest of what's in here is just more of what I showed you, right? So we got the red, Northern Lights, Lavender Mist, Satin Patina, and that other one. There's our kiln load. So now I'm just gonna count the kiln, count the pots up, our total right now for the year is 1,242, as you can see right here, plus whatever comes out of the kiln today, which will probably be another 30 or 40 pots. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready for the next Etsy restock, which is happening tonight, June 10th. All these boxes are ready to go for that. These are the pots that we've taken pictures of. This is our picture setup. So we'll get all those pots that we just unloaded from the kiln out here so we can take pictures of them all. So we can get up on Etsy for you guys tonight. I think that's all guys for this video. Appreciate you stopping by. I love you all. Hit subscribe, like, share, comment, all the things. We'll see you guys in the next video. Shh.